Hey, what's going on, family? Hey, man, we got to keep it a stack, all right? Dak Prescott versus Tony Romo. There's Now, look, man, I'm not about to sit over there, you understand me, and try to put one against the other, right? But we got to speak facts, though, right? So, <clears throat> let's compare them. Tony Romo is the better quarterback. Dak is the more mobile quarterback, but for some reason, he don't like the run. Even though he should run, that was your bread and butter at Mississippi State. If you use your legs more often, we wouldn't have all them third down problems. They don't, don't, you, you are a mobile quarterback, but doesn't nobody see you as a mobile threat. That is a problem. Two, like I said, Romo has the better arm talent. Up here, Romo is better when it comes to seeing his field. Dak is better as far as being more personable, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, everybody loved Dak, you know what I'm saying? Dak is just his likable guy. So, you know what they say? They respond to him. So, Dak will always have the locker room, right? But Romo, he was like, shit, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm a ladies' baby. Hey, man, what you mean? I got Jessica Conception, man. I got Carrie Underwood, man. I got this model, man. What the hell are you talking about, man? Just know I'm going to lay my, lay my, lay my soul on the football field, man. And y'all just better come to war with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Romo was dealt a shit hand. We're going to keep we gonna keep it a stat. We're going to keep it 55th Street. Romo was dealt a shit hand. He ain't had an offensive line for the longest. Defense was cheeks. You telling me that this team that Dak just had, Romo wouldn't thrive in that? Bro, Romo was out. Bro, do you understand? We would probably would, we probably would be a three four win team a lot of them seasons if we didn't have Romo, bro. Romo was so clutch, bro. Yeah, I mean when you a gunslinger like that, when you sit over there and know, you know what I'm saying. When you take the risk like Romo, interceptions going to happen. Do you guys remember that 400 yard game when him and Peyton Manning uh, against the Broncos, how they was just dueling it out? We had a shitty defense, but they was dueling it out. Romo just answering everything. Boom. He boom. Answering it. Boom. Boom. Yeah, he threw a pick at the end, though. But didn't nobody tell that defense to give up cheeks like that. If Romo would have came out hot like he been doing, you know what I'm saying, the defense would have had some type of resistance, it probably would have been a blowout. Romo had minimum support throughout his whole entire career. The, the year that they sit over there, you know what I'm saying, and, and had that nice little pass rush with Ware, Spencer, Hatcher, Bowen, Ratliff, I believe that was the 13-3 and three year. Yeah, we folded, though, but you know what I'm saying? Was that the 13th or was that the 11-5 and five year? I think that was that was, I think that was a 13-3 and three year, and I think we lost to, what, the Midgets? And then there, I think the, was it the 11-5 year when we beat the Saints that year and we got hot? I want to say we, we won, what, we beat the, well, we, we won the first game, but then we lost to Minnesota. Yeah, we got exposed in Minnesota because we were soft on defense. We were soft on the offensive line, bro. Bro, Dak is being the beneficiary of Jerry Jones' mistakes with Romo. If Romo had the team that Dak had now, bro, me, me we all would know, bro, it's Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? We already knew what it was. Bro, this is the best team I've ever seen Dallas had since me being knowledgeable as a fan, me being, you know what I'm saying, woke and pay, really paying attention to everything because I wasn't old enough to enjoy them Super Bowl years, bro. So I couldn't really sit over there and tell you, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have a, a, a attachment to the teams like – Older fans have, you know what I'm saying, as far as the Super Bowl years. You know what I'm saying? I'm well aware of them, but I don't have an attachment like I do with the teams that, you know what I'm saying, with the Romos and, you know what I'm saying, the Dags. You know what I'm saying? I, I done went through the Quincy Carters and the Vinnies and the Drew Bledsoe's. I, I done went through all that. Kyle Lord. I done went through that, right? He had what? Barber gave him a couple years, you know what I'm saying? Marion Barber gave him a couple years, you know what I'm saying? In the Felix Jones combo, but that didn't last. We drafted Zeke for Romo. But, you know, an unfortunate event happened. 
Um, you know, uh, I know Romo really sick. Like, damn. You wait to get Tony Romo. I mean, uh, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, what, Tyron Smith, was he right tackle? I think he was right tackle when he first came in with Romo, bro. Think so. But I know Romo's sick, though. I'm like, damn. Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, Lyle Collins, Tyron. I, I, damn, that get all that? That get Zeke? That get Amari Cooper? That get CeeDee Lamb? Dalton Schultz? Damn, even they even get a third receiver. They even get Cedric. You get Gallup? God damn. Damn, you get Diggs? You get Michael Parsons? You get Lawrence? You get Randy? And Randy finally playing. You actually get a good defensive coordinator? You ain't sit over there being sick with this Rob Ryan shit? You actually got special teams that score to help me out? Romo sick. Why you couldn't do that for him, Jerry? Bro, you knew what Romo needed, but you were like, you wanted to be cheap, though. I know Romo gonna sit over there and make all these people better. So I don't have to spend a high resources to go spend a first round pick to go get Amari, to spend a first round pick on CD. Because I know Romo gonna make everybody else better, and you effed up with that. You know what I'm saying? You should have sit over there because you knew that Dak Prescott is not on the level of Romo, so you know Dak need more around him. I'm not saying Dak is not the franchise quarterback and Dak not a good quarterback because he is. And we can win with Dak and we can win it all with Dak. But Dak will have to take that next step. And you know, in order for him to take that next step, um, is this the residence of Antonio Romero Romo? Yeah, um, yeah, Tony, can, um, I would like to sit over there. Can I invite you over for dinner? You know what I'm saying? The, uh, uh, the lady going to cook. And I just want to watch some film with you. and just break it. What you need, Tony? What you like to eat? Oh, you vegan? Oh, 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 oh you like a steak? Whatever you want, Tony. What, what you want to drink? Oh, whatever you need, Tony. Yeah, uh, um, should I have a, a limo come pick you up? Or what's going on? Okay, uh, how does, uh... How does Friday at six sound? Oh, you can't make oh oh six thirty? Bet oh okay, yeah, six thirty there, yeah. Uh uh I'll have a limo uh ready outside for you at six twenty nine. <laughs> You'll be ready at six thirty. I I had a limo at six twenty nine ready for you outside, man. All you gotta do is walk out at six thirty and uh you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and we'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and hey, you need to sit over there and be up with 24 hours. You need to have 24 hours with straight Romo time. Him telling you, you feel me, how to read these damn defenses, what he see. Look at his tape. Look at your tape. Evaluate it. Look what you could have did better. Look what he didn't do. Look what he did. You need to sit over there and be with him the whole offseason. Tony Romo need to be your best friend. You need to get away from everybody and get with Tony Romo. When you do that, I guarantee you a Super Bowl coming to Dallas. Don't be satisfied with being a personable dude, everybody liking you and you take a next step. Bro, you ain't you ain't gonna take a real step. If you want to take the real step, man, get us get us get us to the NFC championship. Get us to the NFC championship. I know you got it in you. I seen you had it in you before. I seen you go toe to toe with Aaron Rodgers in the offs. I seen it. I know you got it in you. But I need to see it consistently when times matter. Y'all don't remember, man, when Tony Romo, man, on opening night, man, how we sit over there, came through, you know what I'm saying? He would just, he took what the defense gave. He was just checking at the Lance Dunbar, checking at the Lance Dunbar, checking at the Lance Dunbar, game winner to Whitney. Y'all remember that? 
easy money. You knew that when it was time to win and, and there was some time on that clock, you knew Tony Romo was going to make a play. We need to feel like that with that. We need to feel like that with that. It's time to take the next goddamn step. There's no comparison because Tony Romo will always be a better quarterback than Dak. Tony Romo has saved us so many goddamn times. He saved us from a being, and we was already an embarrassment, but he saved us from being even a bigger embarrassment. Tony Romo was underrated. One of the best court quarterbacks, if not the, in Cowboy history. Yeah, Aikman got the, got the ship stole, but he better than Aikman and me. So, in order for Dallas to take the next step, Dak has to take the next step. Because all the pieces is there. Now it's time to execute. Quit trying to blame Amari Cooper because it ain't Amari Cooper. Because Amari Cooper got to get the ball thrown to him. You know my Amari Cooper too cold with the route running to sit over there, you understand me, and, and put up the numbers that he had, bro. Too cold of a route runner. Throw it up the CD. That's what he's here for. Give CD a, a quick pass and let him make a play. It's time. It's time, bro. You, you, you see what the Bills did with Josh Allen, how they just put everything on his shoulders and he put him in position to win. But guess who failed him? His defense. It wasn't Josh Allen's fault. You see what they did with Mahomes? You see how Burrow don't have an offensive line, but yet he still... Get them to the AFC Championship game. No excuses. Get it together. No excuses. Because our team is better than uh, uh, the Bengals. Quit playing. Let's get it done, y'all. Hey, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And we out.